Good morning, happy Monday. It is 9.49. I am making my way to the airport. I'm almost there, but I'm running a little behind. Just a little behind. <coughs> Excuse me. It was just so hard for me to get up this morning. It's this weather. It was so nice and chilly and cozy in my apartment. I was more inclined to just keep laying there and relaxing but I finally got up and got moving once I get moving it's just kind of easy from there but we got a few minutes to get through security y'all I'm telling you story of my life it's, it's it's literally hurry up and wait is the theme I applied for my TSA pre-check legit two weeks ago and on the website it says you'll have your um KTN in three to five business days three to five days is what it actually reads but here it is two weeks and I still do not have mine. So I didn't wear belts. I normally never wear belts when I travel because that's one less thing I gotta take off because I have to take off my shoes and my blazer, take out my iPad and all that kind of stuff. So with TSA PreCheck, you don't have to do all of that. So yeah, I just knew that I would be experiencing TSA Pre. But maybe, maybe for my return, maybe I'll get it this week sometimes this week before my return maybe i get to experience it in dallas but almost every time i fly out of dallas it's always so smooth so smooth I, it's never really cumbersome there granted you still have to take off your shoes and your belt and all of that but the lines be flowing because they have so many agents tsa agents on staff it never really takes that long but i am almost at the airport i'll see you guys inside I'm legit never really this late. I'm, I can't even lie, I'm low-key scared at this point because this flight boards in 37 minutes. find some princess parking princess parking we'll be okay all right we're making it in all right it's pretty empty but still i should have been here sooner um i think i'm already on the upgrade list i think i think it automatically does it for us okay so that was a smooth transaction it normally does not happen like that i just got lucky all right so now let's see what the line is like up here at tsa Let me go ahead and get my ID ready. Yeah, that works. I legit had to get like a pat down, like groin and all. Maybe this will be like the last trip this happens. But nonetheless, it is 10.09. We made good time. And when I was going through security, I saw the, the plane actually land. So we're doing good. Morning. Speak if they want to. 
sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Let me just find my little seat. I love boarding first so I can hurry up and get situated. So I don't have to say, that's me. Scoot over, that's my seat. And fight with the overhead shit I need. Y'all see what kind of view we got? We got a good view. Ooh. We got a good old wing view. That's cute. But this is the only thing I hate about sitting in the back like this. You don't have any leg room. And they didn't have an exit row seat. And I normally never stick stuff in this seat back pocket, but I'm gonna do it today because I do need to use my iPad. And I'm not one of those to forget my stuff. I'm gonna get my iPad. People love to stick their phones and iPads back there and forget this stuff. Crazy. Flight was pleasant. Baggage claim is right over there. But I'm looking for somewhere nice and cozy to eat real quick because I have a call to jump on in a little bit before I grab my bag. So they'll just keep my bag until I come get it though. We'll see what we got to eat over here though. But I, I really want something like Chick fil A. Dunkin' Donuts, Spot Coffee. No barbecue, wing stop is just okay here. Don't want that. Hmm. Y'all, would I be doing the most if I went to a whole another terminal just to eat at Chick-fil-A? <laughs> That's what I feel like doing for real, for real. I really do. <laughs> Let's 
I got some checked in. I'm gonna head up to my room. Thank you. And we're going this way. Y'all remember this long black hallway? We're going to 4217. The exact same layout as last time. All right, so I'll do a quick overview of the room, but you've already seen this. If you watched my last Dallas vlog, you guys already saw this dorm room. This is not like a hotel, it's a dorm. But we have this little closet area over here. Okay. So I will be hanging my clothes. All right, then over here is the bathroom. Like I said, you guys have already seen this. I'll be quick. Um, kitchenette area, you have fridge, coffee maker, um, some Cafe Bustelo Colombiana. The Colombia version, this is so strong, so good. It's my favorite. I love Earl Grey tea. And a breakfast blend, okay. Really nice. I just wish they gave you more cream, cause that'll be nice to make coffee in the morning right here. And then you have your queen bed setup, seating area, desk, TV. This is it. The cutest little room. So fancy, so small, but yet so fancy. Very same view I had last time, except that I'm on the fourth floor this time very nice very nice then right down here um is a lounge and gathering area that's where people gather to study and just relax and straight ahead is the one of the dining facilities right over here then over here we'll get out and walk it and i'll show you around this week since i'm gonna be here for um, three nights show you in depth because last time it was just like one night I was literally in and out but I got a little more time this time so be nice all right um let me get situated then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do about dinner so I'm trying to figure it out do I want to go out tonight my very first night or do it tomorrow night or my second night probably want to get it over tonight <laughs> and then just enjoy the facilities while i'm here since i am by myself um i know i'll be hungry soon let me just see i'm just gonna take a relaxation break right now just take a little time to relax and look at the menu who am I kidding? I already looked at the menu. I already know what they got. I kind of already know what I want. You know what? We might just go ahead and do it tonight. Just get it, get all that traveling and scene and um, scenery stuff out of the way tonight. What would you do? And would you go the next night? Hmm. Decisions, decisions.
All right, y'all, so I put my wig on the rollers. Y'all, after having dinner downstairs, I had the best grilled chicken sandwich on a wheat bun with cheese, sweet potato fries. It was so yummy. After that, girl, it was just over for me. I didn't get comfortable. I'm in my robe, enjoying the view and watching some TV. I am just done for the night. Thought I was going to make it into the city tonight didn't happen well hopefully after class and all that good stuff tomorrow i'll get to venture out and have a little more fun because like this alone is just so satisfying to me this is so much fun just to relax and just enjoy a different environment so that's what i'm doing right now i'm just you know relaxing girl <laughs> so i'm gonna get even more comfy and find me something good to watch on TV. Two pumps vanilla with sweet cold foam. Okay, what's it? Venti. It looks like they're about to have a flight attendant graduation or a ceremony. OMG. Everybody looks so cute. I used to want to be a flight attendant, but child, we deal with too much drama on the ground. I definitely don't want to deal with it in the air. So guys, I didn't get to go out and see the city like I wanted to last night. It thunderstormed so good last night and I slept so well. So I'm really not even mad at it. So I'm up right now. It is 7.38, enjoying an omelet before the class. And yeah, next stop is coffee. I got a long day of class. <laughs> so today I had the Asian bar. So I got like chicken, rice, and veggies. All right, y'all. So I'm on lunch break. It's been an hour and a half. They gave us an extended lunch. The weather here has turned. It is so ugly. Last night it stormed but so hard. It woke me up a couple times. The thunder and the lightning. I got to show you this rain right now. It's great, great. Whoa. Yeah, it's not like So I got my dinner to go tonight. I'm gonna sit in the room and enjoy some TV and relax and watch the weather. 
So they are telling us that we shouldn't leave the facility tonight because they're anticipating tornadoes. So I'm going to listen. I don't think I want to go out. I don't want to get stuck here in Dallas and being out and about and I can't make my way back. That would be cray cray. So I'm going to sit my ass down, eat my food and enjoy my room. <laughs> Okay, I had to do a quick job with the curl and iron, but whatever, I'm going home today, so I ain't even tripping. Right, so it's my last lunch here in Dallas. And then I don't know what they're having outside, but it looks so much fun. I'm gonna go outside in a little bit after I'm eating to explore that. They're giving away so many cute giveaways. There's a saxophone player. The cookies. So I made it to Dallas. You know how I do it. I have to get dressed again. Because my TSA pre-check still has not come through. 